They not getting the copyright, I promise you that. Hey man, we locked in today. Patriots, my brothers and sisters, beautiful people around the world. Ah, this is fun to be good, man. Now, I want y'all to know 50 Cent actually endorsed Trump um, a couple of years ago. So, uh, I want that to be known in this video as well. But uh, this is powerful, you guys. So what just took place um, a couple hours ago, you know? And uh, after Trump was found guilty of Lord knows what crime, we still can't figure out what the crime was, sadly. You go outside, there's kangaroos everywhere. And then... I was walking to the mailbox to check the good old mail, hoping the IRS ain't sending me nothing. And I slipped and fell. And I was kind of confused at first because I was like, how did I just fall out of nowhere? Then I looked down. Banana peels everywhere. Peeling back bananas in the Republic. Oh, boy. Ah, but, um. Again, let's jump straight into this, you guys. I'm going to play this clip before we get into the show. This is actually the star clip of the show, you know. But huge salute to 50, man. We got so much love and respect for him to stand around a bunch of Democrats and support Trump. You know, uh, the celebrity and the name and the status that he carries, you know, very, very powerful, y'all. You know, and he also says uh, 50, he doesn't want to be 20 cents under Biden's uh, tax plan. <laughs> but um, this is powerful, like I said. And um, basically, 50 says the black vote should be there. Yeah. And y'all know how I feel about the race card and stuff like that. And um, but, you know, that's just the life. You know, the world that we live in, man. Y'all know how I feel about it, though. We are all brothers and sisters at the end of the day. Again, I don't care what your skin color is, where you're from, what your age is, what you look like, what you smell like. On this channel, you are loved and accepted, and we all bleed the same. Y'all spread that love now, because we're living in some dark times. You know? But um, 50 says the black vote is there, especially with the black men, as mo uh, you know. But I want y'all to hear this clip, man, and then we'll get into the show. Have you made it I haven't. So what, what do you think is the significance? Thank you. What do you see as the significance of African American men in this election? Thank you, everybody. Both of you. I see them identifying with Trump. Why do you say that? Because they got RICO charges. And mm. Mm, mm, mm. After Trump was found guilty of Lord knows what crime. But 50 Cent is riding with us, Patriots, and says that President Trump is going to be the 47th president of the United States. And um, this, again, is not probably not a shock to a lot of y'all because y'all know he's um, endorsed Trump uh, a while back. Um, didn't agree with a lot of things, policies and stuff that was uh, taking place in New York. And uh, he really had a huge issue with uh, the prepaid credit cards that, you know, with the illegals and stuff. So, yeah. But uh, we're riding, y'all. And I told y'all, man, this thing is going to get even spicier these next five months up to November. So I hope y'all are ready, man. Put your seatbelt on. You know what I'm saying? But salute again to 50. I want to send a, just a huge salute and love um, again to stand around a bunch of Democrats and support Trump. You know, and as y'all seen, he took pictures and did all they did all kind of stuff. So we're going to jump into the. The full uh, show with my brother. Uh, and I will leave the original link in the description box. I'm Y'all make sure y'all go check him out. So let's go and jump straight into that, you guys. And if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Join the family, man. We wishing the best in everybody's life, man. That everybody is blessed, well, and healthy, man. And that you get to live the life that you deserve, man. In this very, very fast time travel. We're living in the darkest of the darkest times, y'all. We're living in history. They're going to come back to this year, 2024, and research it, study it. 
and explode. They're going to say, man, this really happened in 2024. Yes. I love y'all, man. I'm not only wishing the best in you guys' life, but your kids' kids' life, man. The youth, the future, the next generation, man. You know, we, we have a lot of problems, a lot of issues going on, just terrible things that are going on right now, man. It really is. Tons of people need to be held accountable. And again, America isn't America anymore, y'all. Sad truth. But let's jump straight in. Again, make sure y'all check out my brother's uh, video down below in the description box down below. And I love you guys, man. America, Joe Biden's campaign is lying to you once again, and they're gaslighting. Now they're trying to say that I said black people were doing better under Jim Crow. I never said that. They are lying. But why would you be surprised? Because they always lie. This is the same Joe Biden that said, if you don't vote for him, then you ain't black. And you ain't black. <laughs> Joe, I'm black. I'm real. I'm, Joe, I'm black, boy. Y'all know I'm, you know. Y'all know I kind of cringe up saying that kind of stuff, man, because I just don't like pulling the race card, man. I don't really, you know, it's, it's, we all bleed the same, man. Give a damn what your skin color is, man. The man is a liar. Sorry, just call it what it is. What I said was, is that you had more black families under Jim Crow. And it was the Democrat policies uh, under HEW, under the welfare state, that did help to destroy the black family. That's what I said. And I also said you're seeing a reinvigoration of black families today in America. And that is a good thing. So don't listen to the lies from the Biden administration. I know what I said, and I'll say it straight to camera. They got to run to the Philadelphia Inquirer to move their lies. Joe Biden does not care about black people. He never has. He cares about power. First, second, and third. Mm. They can go somewhere with all that. See ya. Y'all think of Brian Donalds, man, for a, a VP candidate, huh? Y'all think about the VP, man. Comment down below. Y'all think of Brian Donalds. Well, y'all know we love some of Brian Donalds, man. And there's a lot of other amazing uh, names out there as well. A lot of other amazing candidates we can mention. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I got to tell you guys, desperate times calls for desperate measures from democrats in the biden administration because the writing is on the wall when it comes to the so-called black vote if the election was held today trump would probably get 20 who knows maybe even 30 percent of the black vote and if that is the case if that turns out to be true that trump's support among black people and also latino people as well too is as strong as the polls claim that uh it is then the election will be won in a landslide by Trump, okay? In the Biden. Like I said in the past, like what, 30, 40 videos, landslide. A landslide. After the guilty verdict of Lord knows what crime, another landslide. And as you can see, tons of people are waking up, man. Waking up, waking up, waking up. The administration knows this okay and again part of the reason part of the reason why black people are identifying with trump and again this is not according to me okay i'm gonna let 50 cent tell you guys why in front of ben crump's face after his visit to the capitol have you made a decision i haven't what, what do you think of this? Thank you. Just last question. What kind of case do you think of African American men in this election? Thank you. I see them identifying with Trump. Why do you say that? Because they got Rico charges. And yeah, so I'm sure ambulance chaser Ben Crump almost had a medical emergency. Hearing another black man, 50 Cent, say to his face, tell the media that, hey, I see black people identifying with Trump because they have RICO charges, okay? And we know that Trump is facing RICO charges out in Georgia. More specifically, he said black men who, again, we know for a fact are uh, moving over to conservative or the Republican side of our more so than black women, okay? So he was talking specifically about black men. Now, when Trump said something to that effect, uh, the mainstream liberal media had a full-blown meltdown over it. Now, let's see how they treat 50 Cent. I mean, who knows? You will have people come out here and say he ain't really black. A lot of those people probably will be white liberals like Chelsea Handler. You guys remember that when she went out to 50 Cent, <laughs> when he basically insinuated that he might vote for Trump, okay, in 2020? You heard about my ex-boyfriend, right, 50 Cent, and his support of 
of, of uh, Donald Trump. Yeah, what's going on between you? I, I saw your tweets and I go, wait, what's happening? Because you said he was your favorite ex-boyfriend and then he, what does he do? He's supporting Trump? He says he doesn't want to pay 62% of taxes, which by the way, is not a plan of Joe Biden's. That's, that's, that's a lie. So he doesn't want to pay 62% of taxes because he doesn't want to go from being 50 cents to 20 cents. <laughs> and, I, and I had to remind him that he was a black person so he can't vote for Donald Trump and that he shouldn't be influencing an entire swath of people who may listen to him because he's worried about his own personal pocketbook. So I haven't heard back from him yet, but I, I am willing to, you know, seal the deal in more ways than one if he changes his mind and publicly denounces Donald Trump. I might be willing to go for another spin, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Okay, and she thought that it was okay for her as a white liberal to try to correct 50 Cent as a black man in regards to how he's supposed to vote because she has had some black DNA inside of her, right? She thinks that that, again, gave her the right to tell him how he's supposed to vote based off his skin color. Again, amazing stuff. But yeah, we all know that black liberals and white liberals are going to be equally upset about 50 Cent's visit to the Capitol because he took some pictures with some Republicans. He also took pictures with Democrats too, but again, they don't care about that. They just care about the fact that he took pictures with Republicans. And he said that he sees black people identifying with Trump because of Trump's RICO charges. And I got to tell you, that basically says that the political persecutions against Trump are backfiring, specifically when it comes to the black vote. Now, with that being said, uh, you have Joe Biden and Democrats upset about this, panicking about this. They know that this is an issue for them because they are creating fake outrage along with the mainstream liberal media over Byron Donalds uh, having a discussion, a black voter outreach event in Philadelphia where they talked about themselves okay and being conservative and republican and essentially again it's a black vote outreach event right for the republican party okay very simple stuff okay shouldn't be anything controversial however the democrats made it controversial because they are now pushing the lie that byron donald's doing this conversation uh claimed that the black family or black people were better off under Jim Crow, right? This is what the Biden administration is saying. This is also what Hawking Jeffries, aka Discount Obama, is saying. This is what he said in Congress that Byron Donalds said that black people were better off under Jim Crow. This is what Hawking Jeffries said in Congress. And then he said fact check, right? As if he was actually stating facts, but he actually was doing nothing but stating lies. Take a look. Mr. Speaker, it has come to my attention that a so-called leader has made the factually inaccurate statement that black folks were better off during Jim Crow. That's an outlandish, outrageous, and out-of-pocket observation. We were not better off when a young boy named Emmett Till could be brutally murdered without consequence because of Jim Crow. We were not better off when black women could be sexually assaulted without consequence because of Jim Crow. We were not better off when people could be systematically lynched without consequence because of Jim Crow. We were not better off when children could be denied a high quality education without consequence because of Jim Crow. We were not better off when people could be denied the right to vote without consequence because of Jim Crow. How dare you make such an ignorant observation? You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Yeah, so this guy might be one of the corniest so-called black people that I've ever seen in my life because, I mean, clearly he's light-skinned. He's probably not, okay? And on top of that, um, he is trying really hard to be stereotypically black, even though we know that that's not you, brother, right? That's not you, okay? You, you're trying to say things and to use slang and, I guess, black vernacular, okay? I'm not sure exactly what you call it. You're trying to use that in order to identify with people that you really don't identify with like that. Let's keep it all the way 100 because it doesn't even sound natural to you. But again, I want you guys to notice, okay? These so-called pro-blackity blacks, a lot of them, they're light skin, okay? And they're trying to prove their blackness because they are confused about who they are, right? They are half black, half white. In some cases, they're, 
you know, three fourths white, twenty five percent black, and again, they they are so uncomfortable with who they are as a black person that they have to go out of their way to try to prove their blackness by denying the blackness of other black people who don't allow in their politics, as if black people can only be liberal or progressive okay and if you're not progressive or liberal then you ain't black aka if you don't vote for the white man joe biden you ain't black right and joe biden said it himself he said if you don't know whether to vote for me or trump then you ain't black <laughs> charlemagne okay because i'm jim crow joe the segregationist the guy that was against bussing because i didn't want my kids or white kids to be in racial jungles Crime Bill Joe, Drug Bill Joe, Mr. I'm going to give a eulogy to a Klan's member Joe, right? I hang out with members of the KKK Joe, that Joe. Yeah, that, that's the person that Hakeem Jeffries, Mr. Pro-Black Revolutionary here, wants black people to vote for, okay? It's funny how that works. In order to get black people to vote for Joe, he has to lie. Lie about another black congressman and say that... Byron Donald said something that he didn't say and didn't want to call it a fact check. I, I guess it's easy to fact check something that somebody didn't say, right? When you're putting words in their mouth. But that's not what he said. I want you guys to actually listen to the full clip of what Byron Donald said in context. And it's not even close to what this clown and the Biden administration are claiming. I grew up with my mom. My dad and my mom, things didn't work out. As an adult... I look at my father and I say, bro, I don't know what happened, but you my father and I love you. Wow. I don't know what happened. I wasn't there. Wow. But I'm going to tell you this. Coming growing up, the one thing I knew I wanted to do, and this is not about my father, this is about what I wanted to do, is I wanted to be a father to myself. Wow. All right. All right. And so one of the things that's actually happening in our culture, which you're now starting to see in our politics, is the, re in, the reinvigoration of black families with younger black men and black women. And that is also helping to breed the revival of a black middle class in America. You see, during Jim Crow, during Jim Crow, the black family was together. During Jim Crow, more black people were not just conservative, because black people always have been conservative minded, but more black people voted conservatively. And then HEW, Lyndon Johnson, and then you go down that road, and now we are where we are. What's happened in America the last 10 years, and I say it because it's my contemporaries, it's Wesley's contemporaries, you're starting to see more black people be married in homes raising kids it's when you home with your wife raising your kids and then you look at the world you're saying now wait a minute time out this does not look right how can i get something to my kids it goes back to the conversation of generational wealth not just having a job generational wealth i'm looking at my kids how can my kids be on my shoulders when they take off in life that's what's happening yeah so imagine being so desperate to win over black people that you take a conversation that this man is having where he's clearly talking about the role that his own father played in his life. Okay. The fact that his father wasn't there uh, in his life for as much as he would like his father to be in his life. And he said, listen, as a father, I want to be in my kid's life. And he talked about the importance of fatherhood in nuclear families when it comes to building generational wealth for black people. Okay. An overall positive conversation. And then he talked about how, okay, yeah, the black family was together under Jim Crow. And the reason why he brought that up is to say that, well, because of Democrat policies, uh, a.k.a. the welfare state, okay, uh, Lyndon Johnson's uh, war on poverty, uh, yeah, that incentivized the breakup of the black nuclear family, okay? Black women, specifically black single mothers, were incentivized to depend on the government to marry the government rather than the black man, okay? And again, it just made it easier for families to be broken and that's what happened but under jim crow even in a time where there was racism in the country there was segregation black people were being oppressed uh yeah the black family still stood together in fact back then uh across all races <laughs> families were more together okay but regardless what he said was a fact okay and democrats hate facts this is why they couldn't actually say what he actually said they had to spin what he said because again they can't stand facts they can't dispute facts they can't debate the facts but 
what he said was true because according to the Institute for Family Studies, uh, in 1950, just 9% of black children live without a father. Now, if you fast forward to today, only 44% of black children have a father in the home. Again, that's terrible. And then look at all the issues that black people have today. As a result, we know how correlated crime is with fathers in homes. Back then in the 1940s, 1950s, the black crime rate was lower than it is today. Well, why is that? It's because you had fathers in homes. You had a better culture. Now, again, does that mean that black people were better off under Jim Crow overall? No, that's not what it means at all. And if you're interpreting those comments in that way, then you're dumb, right? You're just stupid. I don't know what else to tell you. Obviously, your listening comprehension skills need some work, okay? But Democrats, uh, they're just flat out lying because they be believe that black people are stupid. This is how stupid they believe black people are. That they can just lie about what this man said and black people are going to buy it, right? They're going to run with, oh, Biden Donald said black people were better under Jim Crow. When, if you actually listen to what he said, there is no reasonable or intelligent person that can listen to that and say that, oh, well, he said that black people were better off under Jim Crow. That's crazy. He just stated a fact about how black families were more together under Jim Crow. And again, that, that is an actual fact, right? That is an undisputable fact, okay? But again, Democrats, because they know that their policies have broken the black family, they don't want to deal with the facts, right? Yeah. So again, they'd rather spin what he said and lie and then, again, try to do this type of virtue signal, uh, this fake pro-black virtue signal from Hakeem Jeffries that, quite honestly, is, is tiring, right? And I think this is why you have black people running away from the Democrat Party because it's offensive. Honestly, it really is. It is offensive to be a black person and to watch as Democrats try to pander to the lowest common denominator of black people, right? Why does Hakeem Jeffries feel the need to speak like that in Congress? You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. These comments are out of pocket. <laughs> Who are you talking to, <laughs> right? <laughs> You're a sitting congressman. Who are you talking to? Because again, he ain't talking to white people. He would never talk to the white man that way. He would never talk to the white man that way. Same thing with Kamala. This is why when she goes around black people, she changes her accent. She changes the way she speaks. Because, again, th these people think so low of black people. Like, I can't talk to a black person the same way I talk to a, a white person. No, 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 no. I got to stoop down to their level, <laughs> right? And start, you know, using this slang, okay? The abonics, right? This is what they do. This abonics. is how they think. This is how they think. This is how dumb they think you are. Again, they think you're so dumb that they can just lie to your face and then get away with it. Oh, we just accused this black Republican of saying something he didn't say. They too dumb to look it up, right? They just know we, we, we screaming racism because they think so lowly of you as a black person that they don't even feel like they can talk to you like a normal person. I, I can't talk to you like the white man, right? No, I got to talk to you like the stereotypical black person. That, that's how low they think of black people. And it's right in front of your face. And I don't understand why mm. people don't see it. Okay? Right in front of it's your face. It's one thing if that was Hakeem Jeffries. If he talked like that all the time, he doesn't. He only talked like that when he's trying to talk to black people. Why? Because he thinks you're dumb. So, hey, if you can't see this by now, like the tricks from the Democrat Party, I really don't know what to tell you. Um, you know, if I was a black liberal, right, I'll be offended. I'm not even offended as a black conservative because I already know this is the Democrats game. I know that, you know, they don't really think that highly of black people and I'm okay with that, right? I'm totally fine with that. Um, I just wish other people would see it, okay? And if you don't see it by now, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. I don't know what to tell you. Right in front of your face. Right in front of your face. I love y'all, man. God bless all you and your families, man. We're living in some dark, dark times. I encourage y'all to spread the love, man.